Hi, this is David Golly from Pentagon Solutions and we're going to take a look at AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 and the Borehole Extension. Uh, the Borehole Extension is only available on subscription and uh, you can download from the subscription website. When you actually install it, uh, you will get the Geotechnics um, ribbon, as you can see, along the top. And there's many different features of this borehole um, tool. Um, previously it used to be on the tool space, but now it's actually incorporated on the ribbon. Um, it's actually developed um, externally by uh, Kinetics. And um, you can have a look at the help articles in here because it's got a powerful uh, amount of um, integration. Uh, you can bring in the raw AGS file, uh, different versions of it. You can actually connect into the uh, uh, whole base database. Uh, but the one feature I'm going to have a look at in this video is simply importing a CSV file. Uh, because commonly people might actually have this information, they might be able to get access to the raw uh, AGS file. Uh, for this to work, you need uh, two CSV files. One essentially that represents your location and the other that represents the borehole strata. So you can see in here the sample I have, it's borehole uh, one. So it's gonna have one unique ID. It's gonna have the easting, northing, the ground level, and the overall final depth. Related to borehole one, I'll have various um, strata. As you can see in here, a sample, I've got some sample uh, strata in here. And you also have to have a description and leg code. So there's certain uh, minimum requirements for the CSV file that you actually need. Um, to have a look at the minimum requirements, again, you can have a scroll through the actual document and you can see two samples and you can also see what's mandatory. Um, if you want to get access to my sample files, no problem, just email me, david at pent, uh, pentagonsolutions.com, just ping me an email. Okay, let's have a look how these uh, files are going to be imported. Um, well, very simply, all we do in here is, is go to import. Um, but before we import, we need to save the draw. So let's just do a quick save in this. Let's pop it out from the desktop. Call boreholes. Okay, go to import. And you'll see a dialog box um, appears on the screen. As so. And uh, this is our di different data formats in here. So I'm only looking at one particular feature of this. Uh, you can connect into the whole base as previously stated. Uh, you can bring in the different formats of the AGS file, but we're simply gonna have a look at CSV. And when you swap it out the CSV, it immediately looks for your uh, location file path and your strata file path. And this is key how you actually get the format in this right. So I'm gonna pull in my location and I'm simply gonna pull in my strata. You decide whether it's comma, delimited, semi-comma, colon, etc. in there. Again, that's just a case of formatting. How you'll know it's correct is when you go to import, it'll actually validate um, uh, the information in there. And it's given me that I've got 23 locations and I've got 92 different stratums in here. Again, you need to verify that and I want to continue. I'm simply going to hit import and the data will come in. So we'll get to see this data 2D in plan, like so. But also, if we pop this out to 3D view, is we get to see the actual boreholes themselves. Um, a nice uh, feature of this is if we want to see the different strata, if we take it out uh, to realistic, again, we'll get to see our different strata. And we'll get to see any anomalies in here that we have. I might have a particular anomaly, um, maybe in here with a bit of missing data in here. Okay, so we can look at our strata manager, and because uh, commonly what we want to do is maybe create a profile along this. So um, with this, what we can actually do is make sure that we've got surface information related, related to this. So again, I can click on surface information related to those boreholes. So you can see that very easily there. And again, we can go back into plan and take this into plan view. And as with previous um, civil 3D commands, you know, we can get a quick profile from this. Um, we can pick up all our surfaces and we can see the different strata uh, physically in there. Um, okay, another nice feature we can actually look uh, at this um, in our actual borehole manager, we can actually change the various different styles in here. Um, changing styles is a very common feature in Civil 3D. Again, so you've got a nice intuitive interface um, and controlled in the ribbon. But one last feature we're going to look at, what happens if I want to make a permanent profile um, of this? Um, so I'm just going to simply delete that profile view out here. And um, I'm going to quit out. Um, here, I'm just going to say on here on the ribbon, I can go create a profile. 
I'm going to give it um, a profile um, name. Now for typ typical style would be the same as your Civil 3D, so I'm going to pick five times exaggeration. But I've no alignment on the screen, but I can just simply create it from the polyline um, because it will use that create from uh, polyline tool that you have on alignments anyway. So I can pick the alignment up. Um, it's asking me at the bottom uh, a name for my alignment. I'm going to say um, borehole sample and then it will verify it and if I simply hit next. So it's going to ask me for various uh, buffer information. I can manually select what bowl holes I want to include from the drawing, but I'm just going to simply say create profile and give it its location. Again, what it will actually do, um, it's, it's created the actual alignment, but you can see in here, based on the style, it actually creates my strata information. So it's a very, very powerful feature in Civil 3D. Um, I'm David Golly. Um, thanks for listening.